Hi guys, thank you for joining. In one of our previous videos, I'll show you how to get live currency exchange rates directly from Excel. In this video, we'll do something similar, but this time I will show you how to get past historical currency exchange rates for any given past date. And to do this, we will use a single Excel function, the stock history function. The stock history function in its simplest form will give you a currency exchange rate between two currencies for any given date. This is how the function is used. Just type into any cell equal sign stock history open parenthesis and then in quotes type in any currency pair comma and then again in quotes the date. The currency pair should contain two currency three-letter codes separated with a forward slash. For instance, in this first example, you will get the ex exchange rate from US dollars to Euro. Same as in the previous video, I have included a link in the description below for you to download a list with all possible uh, currencies and their codes. For the date, simply type in any date inside quotes. The date should not correspond to a Saturday or Sunday since there are no data for the weekends. Let's try this in Excel. So in Excel, in any given cell, I will just start typing equal. St let's do this in capitals. Doesn't matter. Basically stock, history, open parenthesis, and then in quotes, we'll have to enter two currency codes. Uh, let's use Australian dollars forward slash to euro. So we are asking to get the conversion rate between Australian dollars to euro and then comma quotes again and we should enter any, give, any given past date. Let's use the 2nd of October 2024. Close the quotes, close parenthesis and hit enter. And there you have with headers, date for this specific date, the currency conversion rate from Australian dollars to Euro was 0.62 cents. We can also get a series of data between a range of dates. Instead of a single date, we can type in two dates, a starting date and an end date. Going back to our Excel, I will come back to our formula here and instead of having one single date, I will type a starting date, the 1st of October 2024, up to the quotes again, the 10th of October 2024. Close quotes, close parenthesis, hit enter, and we have uh, for each uh, date in this given date range, the closing currency exchange rate. If we need, we can add a few more parameters to our formula. For example, if our date range is very big, we can change the interval instead of daily data and also choose to show or hide the headers. For the interval, we can have values of 0, 1 or 2 for daily, weekly or monthly respectively. And for the headers parameter, 0 or 1 to hide or show the headers. Let's try this in Excel again. Going back to our formula, I will change the dates. I will leave the dates for now. So comma zero for daily intervals and one to show headers. It looks the same. Let's change it a little bit. Let's remove the headers zero for headers. And you can see that the headers have been removed. Also, I will turn on the headers again and make the date range a little bit bigger from the 1st of October until the 1st of, sorry, from the 1st of August until the 1st of October. You see that we have a lot of data, but if we change the interval to weekly, for instance, one less data, thus these are weekly exchange rates, 
and if we can do this for monthly as well monthly three separate exchange rate one for august september and october so as you can see excel has very powerful features and yet simple so if you want to watch videos similar like this hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications once more i have included a link in the description below for the previous video showing you how to get live currency exchange rates as well as a link to download a list with all possible currencies and their respective currency codes thank you for watching